What is up guys, I'm back and the Daily Driver Initiative video is finally here. So a huge thanks to all of you who submitted and if you haven't submitted yet, you still can for it to be featured in an episode 2 of the Daily Driver Initiative. So apparently a lot of people had some trouble fitting everything into a 30 second range. So for the episode 2, I'll be changing it to 1 minute max. So before we jump into the submissions, I'm not sure if you saw the photo I posted on Facebook and Twitter a while back and I asked whoever guessed which camera I took the picture with correctly would get a shout out on this video. And out of all the people who answered, only one person guessed the Canon T3i, and that was Kyle Fonrose. So a huge shout out to everyone else who guessed the LG G4, because that's the camera I took the picture with, so better luck next time, Kyle. So shout out to the following people who actually guessed the LG G4 correctly, and I apologize in advance for any wrong pronunciation. Darren Ramlochan, Edward Charles, Sudipto, I have no idea how to pronounce your last name, sorry bro. Jared Cam Gerard Campbell, Mohammed, no idea how to pronounce your last name either, sorry again. David, Kickstar V from Twitter, and also Live Breed Tech from Twitter. And he also has a YouTube channel, which I'll leave linked below in the description if you want to check it out. And finally, a shout out to Phil from Roman Technology for trying to fit every possible answer in one answer, basically. But yeah, I think I've went on long enough. It's time to get into the submissions. Dude. Oh, you guys wanted to see too? Okay. Dude! Fine. Good day, Tech Smashers. This is my daily driver. It's an HEC 1M8 with a D brand skin. It's running Insert Coin Sense 7 uh, with the Google Note Launcher, so I can have all that good stuff and drink feel with the Sense functionality. I know it might not make much sense, but it works for me. Um, sorry about the quality of this video, but this is my setup. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe and my daily driver is the LG G4. Now, a couple of reasons why I chose this device is because of the removable back and the addition of SD card storage. But probably the biggest draw for me is the attention LG put into making this camera the best on any LG device to date and possibly the best so far here in 2015. Now the battery life could be better overall, but I think the LG G4 is the complete package and that's pretty much why out of all the other devices on the market right now, I chose this one for my daily use. Guys, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, so this is my version, it's like, it's like the awesome Edge thin version, I also have the 64 gig, um, 5 megapixel in front, 16 in the back, flash on everything. So yeah, I currently have this wood wallpaper finish, which is pretty awesome. Um, apps I use, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Maps, Inbox, and the camera app, and door, and like the calendar, and basically keeping track of everything. And the best thing is, okay, Google, and that's the best feature I use in this phone. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you like my Samsung Galaxy X6 Edge. I show how the people have this device. So hashtag tech smash. Okay, so I'm using Kenogen 12S, stock, rooted, um, together with Moonshine Icon Pack. Um, this is a mixture of the Hex stock team and also Flux CM12 team. My daily games. Daily apps. Hey, what is up, Tech Smashers? My name is Kevin, and this is my daily driver. So I have the 32GB Black Sapphire Galaxy S6 Edge with a black carbon fiber skin from dbrand, and I absolutely love this skin. It gives the device some protection against scratches and makes an otherwise delicate phone feel like a tank. Hey everyone, this is JR, and this is my setup. This is the next slide with the gold D-brand skin. I'm using the Speed Ultra Hybrid and the iEndo Tempered Glass Skin Protector. I'm using Action Tree Launcher by Chris Lacey. I really like this launcher because of the appearance of it and the features, and I do not think I'll be replacing it anytime soon. Peace out, guys. Hey, everyone. Roger here. My daily driver is the Blue Win HD. I love it because it's cheap, only costing 125 US unlocked, and it runs Windows 8.1. It's fast and has a 5 inch screen, which is big enough for me. It's not heavy and Cortana works great with it. Because it runs Windows, all of my documents, contacts and images stay synced wherever I go. I travel often, so I love the fact with HairDrive I could download maps and use them offline no matter which country I'm in, thus saving on data and roaming charges. 
The camera is alright, nothing fancy, but the price point is what makes this phone worthwhile. Okay, here we have my OnePlus One, BlissPop 3.2, the most stable BlissPop to date, tempered glass screen protector, the official snap-on clear case, adding virtually no bulk. I have the stock lock screen here for Sanjian Mod 12S. As for my home screen, I use Nova Launcher exclusively. I have the custom Low Ninja Pro keys at the bottom. Clock is Super Widget Pro. Um, I've also added transparency to the status bar elements. I have my favorite shortcuts at the bottom here. I just press on the home button and I can move up. I also have my app bar on the side here. Just push across from the side and I get all my apps. I also have my quick gestures. Which whatever gestures you want, you put and you get. I just swipe across and I get my recents. As for my status bar itself, I have it customized. I've added transparency to it. I'm using the material glass team at the moment. But on either end of the screen, I have a hidden menu button. All the usual Bliss Pop features are there. All right, that's a quick review of my OnePlus One and customizations I have done to date. So hope you enjoyed it. What's up guys, before using the LG G4, the Nexus 5 was my daily driver. I've had it for the longest while running on Chroma ROM and Franco kernel which gave absolutely amazing battery life with beastly performance. But for the purpose of content, it's now running on the developer preview of Android M, so no root mods for now. I have a black carbon fiber D-brand skin on the back which I'd get for every single device I own from now on, the Ayanda tempered glass screen protector on the front, and a cheap bumper from eBay that shows off the D-brand skin. As old as this phone is, I doubt I'll ever be giving it up. What is up everyone? This is my daily driver. So I've been using the LG G4 for a while now, and it's yet to disappoint me in terms of performance. It's running the stock firmware, which is a lot unlike me, but the phone is relatively new and no development has begun for it yet. My absolute favorite aspects of the device is the amazing camera and the fact that there's a removable battery and SD card slot, which is tough to find in today's smartphone offerings. The home screen setup I have here is simply one custom widget that I made using Super Widget. My D-brand skin for the back is on the way, I have a tempered glass screen protector on the front and an extremely minimal case from Amazon. I'm loving it so far and I'm pretty sure it will be my daily driver for a long time to come. So that's been it, thanks to all of you for all the submissions and if you want to submit your daily driver again for the second episode, feel free to do so as well and also if you like this daily driver initiative and you want to see more episodes, be sure to give the video a huge thumbs up below, down below so I'll know that you guys want to see it and of course feel free to share it around as well so everyone in the tech community can see it and join as well. So that's been it. Thanks for watching. Look out for episode 2 and I'll see you in the next one. Video. And the LG G4 review is still in the works, but I've been using the device as my daily driver since I got it. And slowly started to realize that LG added some subtle